now comes the time to export our nodal pen shot to a Maya file and we can start working on our zoom shot. For the zoom shot, we're also going to start a new page under the tree node view. So let's see how to do that. And after the orient scene, we can go back to the create tabs, go to the export and take the export and export this. Now let's see how we're going to export the clip by enabling the clip here under the clip export tab. So I'm going to click on export clip and it's going to write a new clip that is undistorted. And the next thing would be to click on export scene. But before we click on the export scene, we need to make sure that we have the proper format, which is Autodesk Maya 2011 ASCII, and then click on export scene. Export succeeded and we can move forward. But before moving to Maya and see how to work with a nodal pen shot in Maya, it will be a good idea to continue and work in PF Track and see how to work with the zoom shot. Now we can go back to our media bin and go to the media bin of the zoom and just click and drag it into the same page. But it would be proper to have the zoom shot having its own page. So as you can see here, when you open up PF Track, you have page one. And right next to it, there's a plus sign. So I'm going to click on create an empty node page. And I can take the zoom and put it on page number two. Now this is very useful because it will allow you to have multiple shots under the same project and not having to open one project per shot. So let's go ahead and cache the zoom shot as well. So we saw how to export our nodal pen shot into a Maya file and we also needed to export the footage because we use the undistort node to eliminate the lens distortion. Now we can continue with the zoom shot.